Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are in Oklahoma. Beautiful, 88 degrees. A couple of little puffball clouds in the sky. Just did shift change and loves. Chris is eating her salad. And I got a sandwich. We decided, or actually I decided, to take 40 all the way up to 81. It's only 20 miles further. So, my bad. yeah, three gallons of fuel, $12 in fuel as compared to about $70 in tolls. So, I felt it the wiser choice to go a little bit further and save more money. I believe I figured out part of the problem with the GoPro. I did replace it, but I'm having the same issues with the brand new one. I think it's Wi-Fi crossfeed kind of issue. The two cameras start talking to each other. There it goes again. Now I've turned the Wi-Fi off on the dash cam. And uh um, well, now I'm sort of stumped. I guess I need to replace the frame and see if that helps. Might be bumps and the button on the frame. An alignment issue or something. Pushing the button on the camera. So I've got to check that out. But we need to go get another estimate done on the truck. To get that, uh... scratch repaired. Alright, why in the world is that thing doing it? I've got to find out what's going on with this thing. Okay, so no dash cam footage right now. But we need to go get another estimate done and I'll probably do that when we get up to Harrisburg. Find a truck dealership up there. get that done Wednesday morning before we make our delivery. But that'll do it for right now and we will check in later.
construction barrels on my left. I still look in my left mirror to see what's coming up behind me. But we're getting on the bridge right now. Got a little reduction in speed.
stupid stuff. But like I said, you get in the habit of uh, getting in the correct lane, even when traffic is light. For one thing, because of idiots like that. Yep, there you are, K9062X. Little black pickup truck. Also speeding. Not a good thing. But, uh, if you develop, develop that habit, and you know where you are, okay, you know, that's the thing. You learn the roads. The longer you're out here, the more you learn. Mile, keep right to I-40 East. The more you learn the roads. Uh, and you get into the habit of getting in the correct lane ahead of time. It just makes things a whole lot easier. So, I tried to do that. Now, it's right lane. I'm going to go around the curve. In about a mile, it's going to end. But, this is one of those instances where it's better to get in the lane that's going to end. Because you have people like the guy in the black pickup truck. Keep right onto I-40 East that are going to want to race you for this first exit. And this isn't the nicest part of town right in through here. Continue on I-40. No, he's completely lost.
which may come. That was a bizarre movie. And I'm not really into bizarre movies. I mean, I like the storyline. Robin did a great job in it. But there was just a little bit too much weirdness for me. And I wasn't that big a fan of his stand-up. His uh, stand-up comedy, he tended to get quite vulgar. And I prefer to think of him as Mork, as Peter Pan, as the genie on Aladdin. And even uh, Patch Adams. I enjoyed Patch Adams. Excellent movie. Uh, as far as favorites, I'm kind of torn between Mrs. Doubtfire and Bicentennial Man. Mrs. Doubtfire was more to the comedy side, but it had a lot of good aspects to it as far as how California treats the, parent, the father in a custody case. California is notorious for totally dismissing the father and even in bad situations awarding custody to the mother. And Mrs. Doubtfire you know, showed how much a father can actually care and how much good a father do does as far as raising children. Bicentennial Man wasn't quite as comedic. Uh, speed reduction. Wasn't quite, quite as comedic as far you know, general comedy. I mean, it had some funny stuff in it. But it was a great lesson on being human. That's what I really liked about that one. So I'm sort of torn between the two. Then, of course, you have movies like Hook. That was pure comedy. It sort of let us know that, you know, even at his age, which the premise of the movie is Peter Pan goes back to the real world, grows up, becomes responsible, and has lost touch with the child inside of him. That, you know, there still is a child inside of each of us. So, you know, I really like that one too. Popeye was sort of funny. <laughs> it was different. But, you know, I've, like I said, I've been a fan of his since uh, Mork and Mindy. He was loved around the world. He did make some political statements in movies like Good Morning Vietnam. But he went out and he performed for the troops. In a lot of ways, he was the modern uh, Bob Hope. respect him for that. So, no matter what the cause of this loss is, Robin Williams will always uh, always have a place in my heart. And I know this is a week after, you know, you will see this a week afterwards. But, I still want you to think about him. Remember all the joy and all the entertainment yeah, one brought mile. to us. Take exit 12C on left to I-40 East. So, you know, I ask you to say a prayer for Robin's family. His three kids, his grandkids, his wife, 
joy that he brought to the world. So, that's it for right now. And when I come back on, it will be with a more positive note. Morning, morning, morning. It is 4 a.m. We are in Lebanon, Tennessee. 696 miles to go and 35 hours to get it done. So I'm going to sit here for a couple hours, go ahead and edit up this log, and then when it's time to wake Chris up, we're going to go take a shower, <laughs> and head on up the rest of the way. Alize, say hi. Hey, over here, say hi. Say hi. Wolf, what you, what you looking over there? Look right here, right here. No, over, over here. Come here, come here. Ah, don't be opening the window. Come here. Hi. 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 Do I get your other foot? Do I get your other foot? Give me your other foot. Hey, give me your other foot. Oh, wake up. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to do it for today's log. And I think I've figured out the issue finally for sure on the dash cam. I updated the software on the camera. I didn't update the app on the iPad. So whenever the app was open, the camera was acting up. So I've updated the app on the iPad. And hopefully it'll work right now. <laughs> I'm going nuts with this. But hopefully everything's going to work and balance out and coordinate and all that other good stuff. And I can get you uh, some better footage than I have been since these issues started. But anyway, that's it for today. So click like if you like. Don't forget to subscribe. That puts me into your channel feed. Check out my contacts. Leave comments. Send emails. I check my emails daily. I stay on top of my emails real well. And enjoy. You have a wonderful day, and I'm closing out. Bye. Say bye, Alizé. Say bye bye. Say bye. Bye, all. <laughs>